What's up YouTube? Tom's Tech Stops here coming your way and today I've got an unboxing video of the Philips Fidelio dock. This isn't any usual dock, it actually fits the iPhone, the iPod and the iPad so it's quite unique in that respect but what this really, what really sets this uh, Fidelio apart is the fact that you can stream music uh, and sound effects if you're playing a game and so forth wirelessly from your iPad or your iPhone via Bluetooth. So it's got a 10 meter range, you can be sitting on your couch and you can have surround or you know quality sound coming out of this Fidelio uh, wirelessly streaming from your Bluetooth. So excellent device, I'm really keen to get to the unboxing and also to test this unit out and bring the review video to you guys in about a week's time. This unit retails for 299 bucks in Australia, you can pick it up from quality uh, outlets like uh, Harvey Norman, Bingley, Meyer, and so forth. In the US, uh, it retails for a little less, but in Australia, it's distributed by PowerMove. So thanks to PowerMove for providing me this review unit to test out for you guys. You can check out PowerMove's website and Twitter hashtags just below this video. But let's get into this unboxing, and in about a week's time, check out my uh, video and my channel again, and then I'll give you guys the review video. So let's get into the unboxing. There it is right there. Shows you the... Fidelio up close and right here with the iPod or iPhone 4 connected up to it. What it tells you is that you can connect the iPod 4 with the bumper compatible so you won't have issues putting it on the dock. And straight up here, obsessed with sound, sound that fits your home. And that's what this Fidelio is all about. It's about giving you the versatility to, uh, to, to stream it wirelessly and you don't have to have your device plugged into the dock to play it. So. Gives you a bit of information there, made for the iPod, iPhone and iPad. Up the top you can see the back of the unit right there. It's got a nice little carry handle. It's got two subwoofer ports and some input and output ports by the looks of it. What this also has is an inbuilt battery. I believe it gives you around five hours of usage time. So it's around a 14 watt battery which uh, you can charge via the inbuilt or the adapter which is provided, which is fantastic. Excellent portability, shows what you get there. You've got some cables, you've got a stand and a, mo and a remote, which is excellent. It's got a 30 watt, 30 watt RMS speaker, hooks up via a power adapter and 18 watt power. It's got built in batteries at 14.8 uh, volts, Bluetooth uh, wireless range of 10 meters, and gives you a playtime on the battery for five hours. So this one is excellent, we can just take it out if you're going for a barbecue or you're going out to the park and you can still play your music and you can play it uh, wirelessly, which is excellent. Going around the back quickly, just a bit more information. There is an Apple uh, app available for this Fidelio, which allows you to have some extra functionality, which is great. Shows you the subwoofer, the Wi-Fi, uh, and the video streaming there, or the video dock, which you can uh, have it purchase extra. And then you got the speaker on the side. So let's get this one open. What you do feel, it does have quite a bit of weight to it, so I'm really expecting a solid unit here. Straight up, you've got this stand for the iPad. What we've got here, looks like a power adapter. So you've got the power adapter there. And that's your stand for your iPad. Right there. Put that aside. I'll show it to you in a second, guys. Got the power cord, stock standard stuff. On the right hand side of the box, got the power adapter. Quite a good size adapter there. That's about it for the accessories. So if we just get the dock out. big box so you might not be able to see everything in the video but I'll clean it all up in a second guys that's it nothing else in the box put that aside what there was was uh, also some more manuals or some manuals looks like you've got 3.5 millimeter cable there output for the output auxiliary jack I'm assuming nice big thick manual in uh, multiple languages, warranty cards, and a quick start guide there. So put all that stuff aside. I know that's not what you actually want to see. So let's get to business and show you this 
Fidelio. That's the remote control. So, very nice, sleek remote control. Look at that. Absolute beauty. Looks fantastic with this nice silver trimming. I'll go through the functionality of the control in, in detail in the review, but it just looks absolutely magic. Nice sort of mirror finish on the back. Looks like you've got your iPod, iPhone button there. You've got a Bluetooth button, auxiliary button, menu, volume, and all sorts of different functionality. So it just looks absolutely magic. And I'm really excited to see this Fidelio because on the box it looks absolutely beautiful. So here we go. And there it is. The Philips Fidelio dock. Let me zoom in. Doesn't that just look absolutely beautiful? So what you can see, it's got the big speaker right on the front there. You've got your docking station right here. Got some LED lights down here. That's volume button up here, power button, and the Bluetooth button. So you can see there it's already sort of flashing, battery's charged up. Nice little green LED light there saying that it's on. Bluetooth is flashing, looking for a device. Turn that off. If we go around the back, got the carry handle there. And then you've got the two subwoofer ports, auxiliary in, and the power. Cable goes right in there, and underneath, not much going on there. Just some, uh, just some information about the battery and the like. Very, very sleek. Has a fair bit of weight to it, so I think the speaker will be, have quite a bit of output, 30 watts. So it'll, it'll be quite a good sounding dock in my opinion. But I'll test it out and let you guys know in the review. But this is by far the best looking, sleekest dock I have seen and that I will have the pleasure of using. So I'll test this one out over about a week's time, let you guys know what I think. I'll put a review video up and, uh, and put it on there. So check my channel back in about a week's time in late December 2010, I'll post that up. But this is the Philips Fidelio iPod, iPhone and iPad dock. Like I said, it does connect up wirelessly via Bluetooth, so it's a really unique dock. Retails for $2.99 in Australia. Check out PowerMove's website or Philips' website. I'll put in the links down below. It's Tom from Tech Stops here. Let me know what you guys think of this one. Have you used it or would you buy it? And do you like the functionality? Just post below and I'll catch you guys next time.